Hello everybody and welcome to a new series of tutorials that I hope to be bringing out to you very very soon and in these videos I want to be talking about the Texas Instruments calculators. So I'm a high school senior right I've gone through plenty of math classes I went through algebra trigonometry and right now I'm going through very very early calculus and gonna be going off to college soon and I've experimented with all of these bunches of different calculators the TI-83 the TI-84 the TI-84 silver edition eventually I moved on from that because I wanted to get into more programming to the TI-89 the titanium um, and then now finally I've moved on to the TI Inspire and after the TI uh, Titanium, the TI-89 Titanium, I learned all about CAS and the computer algebra system. So I wanted a calculator that would have that same sort of functionality, and the CX, or the color display, is just an added benefit, because it makes everything so much more wondrous. But eventually I did come to the calculator, the TI Inspire CX CAS. Now, this is one that I own. I do own the, the very, very black, sleek and sexy calculator that has a computer algebra system that allows me to manipulate variables like x and y, solve for equations, and do algebra, much like the name implies. And uh, along with this calculator, I have uh, an older one, the regular TI Inspire CX. Now this doesn't have CAS, and uh, I kept the old operating system on this one, uh, the version 3.1. Well, my CX CAS runs 3.6, my older one is still on 3.1, and um, I actually threw on Endless, which is some third-party tools that allows you to run C programs or assembly programs and really bring more potential out to the calculator. And I was able to install the CAS operating system, even though it's still technically a TI Inspire CAC, uh, sorry, CX only, not, not including CAS. But now I do have that support with it, and that's super duper cool. And that's what I wanted to really introduce with these coming tutorials. I want to show you guys Endless. I want to show you guys some of the software and the nifty things you can do with these with these programs, uh, these calculators, and the, the tools that you have online. So this first video, I want to actually show you how you can install the, the simple tool and the simple program that Texas Instruments offers that allows you to connect your uh, calculator to your computer and send your programs and send your information and things back and forth. Any code that you write on the computer, you can bring to the calculator. Any documents you keep on your calculator, you can bring to the computer, and so on and so on. So this is available online. Uh, if you open up your internet browser, you can head on over to ti.com, and that'll bring you right to Texas Instruments kind of homepage. And they've got a pretty hefty company, right? They, they sell a lot of stuff. So over on the left, top left, you can go over to Products, and if you scroll down just slightly, you'll find Calculators and Education Technology, and that's the link you want to head to. Now this will take you to education.ti.com, and uh, you'll see a bunch of advertisements for the TI Inspire, and even the TI-84, the, the C Silver Edition, so you have color on the 84, and uh, that sort of thing. Now, um, what we're going to be looking for is, obviously, the linking program. Now, we want to head over to Downloads in the top navigation. Head over to Apps, Software, and Updates. Once you click that, it shows you, okay, here are all the nifty and cool things you can do with your calculators. If you want to look for a specific technology or a specific calculator exactly like we're going to do, we'll just click on this drop down menu and you can choose either the TI Inspire or the TI Inspire CAS. It's really going to give you the same thing all in the end. We want the connectivity software and we'll click find. If we click on view all, we'll see everything. Okay, it gives us the operating system, other operating system, uh, the student software that we'll get at very soon, and the computer link software. This is what we want. All right, now if you scroll down, you'll have the TI Inspire computer link software for Windows EXE. That's what I'm using, so I'll click on that, and it'll ask if I want to download this. And yeah, of course I do. I want to save this, and this is going to download. I'll, uh, I'll pause the video now and see you guys when it's done downloading. All right, it looks like it's done downloading, so I'm going to click up on the top here and uh, click on one of these. Now it'll ask me if I want to run the program. Obviously, I do. Go ahead and click Run, and uh, it brings over this installation wizard. It'll install TI Inspire Computer Link. Go ahead and click Next. Uh, choose a folder you want it to install in. Typically, you can just run through Next over and over in here, and it'll go ahead and install. Again, I'll pause it and wait till it's done. Okay, so it looks like it's finished installing. Uh, we can go ahead and launch it. I'll just mark that checkbox to go ahead and uh, launch it once we're done. And you'll see this little uh, pop-up appears like a splash screen that allows you to go ahead and uh, use the software. 
Um, you might end up with the end user license agreement. Go ahead and accept that. If you want to read through it, you can. And uh, we'll just keep on going. Um, if you have a Windows firewall, uh, gonna go ahead and allow it. You can do whatever you really need to. And then, when you're all done here, you'll have the computer link software start up for you. Now, if you don't have any uh, handhelds connected with the USB drive, go ahead and connect it. Um, if I hit refresh here, you'll see my black TI Inspire CX CAS is connected. Um, I'll actually unplug that now and I'll plug in my regular CX. I can show you that. And yeah, that's, that's also available. It all depends on what you actually have connected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect my CX CAS, hit refresh again, and once this is selected, we can select that, and you'll be able to see both uh, kind of adjacent to each other, juxtaposed together, you have your computer, everything that's happening on your computer file browser, and at the same time, everything that's on the calculator, the TI Inspire file browser. And uh, you can kind of modify, okay, where you are on your path, check it, all of these uh, different folders, and see all the documents in there. Obviously, you can drag things back and forth. Like if I wanted to bring this over to my desktop, I can just drag it right over there, and it'll copy. And now you can see it's available on my desktop. So that's pretty simple. That's all there is to it. Um, you, we can do more with this, obviously, and we're going to in the coming tutorials. But right now, I just wanted to show you how you can install this. Super duper easy, super duper simple. And um, we'll be moving on with it in the later coming videos. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed.